We think we can knock out fully 10% of the CO2 of all industrial emitters. The world is hungry for carbon capture. We have many industries that are clearly going to be long-term emitters and they cannot be replaced by renewable energy. You can't run a steel plant off of solar. We can begin right now to go really bend the needle on CO2 emissions. We've got a great legacy already in carbon capture. Uh, we've been in the game for more than 15 years, um, so we're not new on the block at all. Today we find that there's a, there's a huge surge in interest in carbon capture and technologies to deliver CCUS, carbon capture, utilization and storage. CO2 is a fundamentally acid gas. When it's put in water, it forms an acid. Why are we going through all this pumping in the ground and all this um, crazy energy expense to try to do that when all you need to do is make a base, capture it with the acid, put the two together and you make a mineral. So they're just minerals that, are, that are, were here from when the earth was formed. So we're working with nature's chemistry is the way we like to think about it. So through the last year, we realized that we had a great opportunity but that actually what we needed to do is bring our next generation technology to the market, and that's SkyCycle. SkyMine proved to us that you could strip CO2 from an existing smokestack without any preparation, and the chemistry itself was strong enough to where you could make food grade products out of it. SkyCycle is similar, it, it does carbon mineralization, but it uses calcium. And the product that we make is calcium carbonate in the form of precipitated calcium carbonate, or synthetic limestone. The difference between SkyMine and SkyCycle is that the SkyCycle technology uh, does it with about one half the energy. And it does it at about one quarter of the capital expense that it takes to do it. It's a hugely scalable technology, which is what we need. We have an ambition in Carbon Free to capture 10% of the world's industrial emissions. The primary thing we learned was that building big and expensive isn't necessarily the way you want to go about things. Building small and able to proliferate around the world is much more important. So we're currently completing the last stages of our development and we'll be ready to build out the first commercial industrial scale plant at the end of 2022. Carbon Free is uniquely poised at the right point in history and in the right point of techno-economic societal understanding about carbon, that we need to do something, but we need to do that which can be done. We only have one planet, we only have one atmosphere, and at Carbon Free we're ready to roll our sleeves up and be part of the solution. We want to capture carbon from industrial emitters today so that we can have a better planet and better atmosphere tomorrow.